2022 Porsche 718 Boxster Overview Most convertibles are a romantic way to enjoy the open road, but the 2022 Porsche 718 Boxster takes it a step further with its joyous handling and eager turbocharged powertrains. It shares its chassis and mechanical parts with the similarly sporty 718 Cayman Coupe, but the Boxster's cloth top opens the cabin to fresh air and the freeing feeling of the wind in your hair. Base models come with a turbocharged horizontally opposed four-cylinder, but speed freaks will gravitate toward the optional flat six. The 718 Boxster may not have the cachet of Porsche's iconic 911 sports car, but its focused chassis and lively nature make it one of the best driving sports cars on the road earn it a 10 best award and a spot on our editor's choice list. What's new for 2022? Two new colors join the Boxster's palette for 2022, Shark Blue and Frozenberry Metallic. Porsche is also offering several new leather accessories, including leather floor mats and key covers. Speaking of keys, buyers can now customize their key fobs by having them painted to match their car's exterior color. For those shopping without limits, the GTS 4.0 model, with its powerful and sonorous flat 6, is the Boxster to choose. Unfortunately, not everyone can afford to drop $90,000 on a two-seat convertible. We get that. So for those on more of a budget, the S model is where it's at. The available PDK automatic transmission is excellent, but this car really calls for the manual. We'd recommend keeping the options to a minimum, selecting only the lowered suspension with adaptive dampers, a limited slip rear differential, and ventilated seats. We'd recommend taking advantage of the Porsche Experience Center. For $395, plus a $50 damage waiver fee, you will be received coaching and track time in your new Porsche at either the Atlanta or Los Angeles location. If you don't live in those areas, you can travel and book time in one of Porsche's vehicles instead. Prices for those experiences range from as low as $400 to as high as $900 depending on location and model. Engine, Transmission, and Performance the Boxster offers three engines, a 300-horsepower turbocharged 2.0-liter flat-4, a 350-horsepower turbocharged 2.5-liter flat-4, on the S model, and a 394-horsepower 4.0-liter flat-6, on the GTS 4.0. Each comes paired with a truly satisfying six-speed manual transmission, but buyers can opt for Porsche's clairvoyant seven-speed automatic. The base and S models are great fun and performed well in our testing. We haven't had the opportunity to put our gear on the new GTS 4.0 model, but we have high expectations that it will impress us on the track. The Boxster's handling and steering prowess inspire deep affection. The mid-engine layout helps the Boxster feel balanced and stable through corners, while the brilliantly communicative steering reacts quickly and accurately to even small inputs. Extra such as Porsche's adaptive dampers and an available torque vectoring rear differential only improve this car's handling, but even base-spec Boxsters behave precisely the way we want them to, fuel economy and real-world MPG. The base Boxster, with a turbo 2.0-liter flat-4 and 6-speed manual, earns 20 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway, according to the EPA. Opting for the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic earns buyers 1 mile per gallon more in each category. The S and GTS models fare only slightly worse. We've tested both a base Boxster and an S on our 200-mile highway fuel economy route, and both models outperform their EPA ratings, with results of 33 miles per gallon and 28 miles per gallon, respectively. For more information about the Boxster's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo
The Boxster's interior has a little more plastic than we'd expect in a car that costs this much, but buyers can cover the console lid, door panel trim, and instrument cluster top in leather for a relatively reasonable price. The Boxster's two flimsy dash-mounted pop-out cup holders have limited utility and reveal a cultural disdain for driving with beverages, Germans don't drink their Nachmittagskaffee while driving, after all. If you're looking for a car that'll hold your entire life within its cabin, look elsewhere.